Hello, and welcome back to Chusson, where we continue our climb. Hmm. How would you like... Who do I want to... Use that. Oh, thank you. Are you okay with the sun? Can we make you bloom? No, they'll just keep disappearing. I wonder what that does. There's still a long way in front of us. I hope you can help me. Can you? They do get tired. No. 
Luckily, we can rest on them as well. Why? Warning, this journal entry will definitely be too long, but I have so much to say. I got to see Em again. I'm so glad I got to drop anchor at her heart. We made up for the last time in the blink of an eye. I almost capsized when I heard her laugh again. I would miss it that much. She started by grumbling about something before shrugging and changing the subject, just like old times. I found myself chattering endlessly. The words flooded out of me. I told her everything, from my parents getting ready to pack up and go toward the theories about watering the clouds. Everything got all jumbled up and 
I could tell my chapter made no sense, but she knew that as though she would never heard anything more profound. It was about then that I realized the whole team was gawking at us with frowned fish eyes. Oops. How long had I been standing there talking to Em right in front of them? I hadn't even set my pack down yet. It was so awkward. Em gave a frown and barked orders at the assembled group. There was hard, hard tack to prepare for everyone at the hut and mattresses to air out. Plus, the salt, the, the wind had blown into the corners. <laughs> Everyone sprang up and got to work without underworld. Em's one tough cookie, that's for sure. Plus, she was armed with a wooden spoon that she was brandishly willed wildly. A pot was soon set to heat in the sun while Sol swept the floor and Arl scraped the plates. Em gave me a wink and I laughed harder than I had in ages. Later on, with our stomachs full and feet bandaged, Em told us the stories she heard from travelers who stood by her hut. One of them grabbed my attention. The legend of the piper, a musician of old. He was said to travel from region to region with his flute to make it rain. I would never heard tell of it back home, but Arlen Becca had. Where they from, they say he would celebrate the rain's arrival rather than making it rain. When, when comes the water, dances the piper. I'm writing to keep my hands occupied, but I can't settle down as to why staying busy will delay our departure. I've already rewound my, all my rope and checked on my pack. I brought way too many things aboard, and in this heat. Besides, maybe I don't need these free teapots over my favorite flower pots after all. I couldn't just leave them behind, but I know I can go on like this. I'm entrusting them to you, Em. I hope they bring you as much comfort as they, they've brought me. I hope to see you again one day. I'm your crewmate. Crewma always. That was a very long jump. And where do you want to go? Up there. I haven't been even bothered planting anything. What's the use? It breaks my heart to see the crops dying on the vine one by one and being powerless to stop it. I fought the sun long enough. I would rather quit now than break my back for nothing. I don't know what I'm going to do. Leave the farm, probably. Finally pay you a visit, maybe. Is the little one already climbing? To think that I still haven't met her yet. Maybe throwing in a towel isn't such a bad thing, after all. Oh, n no, I'm sorry. W what an awful situation you're in. But yes, come for a visit. We'll gladly make room. The little one just started preschool. Can you believe it? She's growing so fast. She's incredible, you'll see. With each passing sleep, she learns something new. When I'm with her, I feel I'm rediscovering the world around me. She gives me hope again. I should warn you though, she can be a handful. Well, at least they won't let you jump. To a certain death, even if you don't know that it is 
etc. Um, we know each other. Our parents know each other. I see you're suffering. We're doing our best to divide the little water we have left here between us. The largest farms have been given priority. They use the most water since they feed the most people. I agree with what you say about needing to change the way we do things. We can't go on like this. It's not sustainable for you. You don't stand a chance compared to the big guys. We should convince them to share. Pool our resources. Do you think that's possible? I'm not sending you water, but I am sending you courage. Yo. I think we know what we must do, although I would much rather go down there. Can we even do that? Uh, this is our limit. But I imagine we should have a way down from here. Yes, there is one. Um, It's really hard to make jumps diagonal. We are almost there. But look, we made it so high. Hey. 
say uns, uh, have you seen the latest posters? The ones that say to eat more salt to quench your thirst. Together, let's save water. Salt your food. Water saved today is what you drink tomorrow. It made me think of you. They're taking it too far. We're supposed to drink less while they use up all the water in the great basin to water those sun-scorched fields of theirs. Yeah, I saw. Every little bit counts. Honestly, have they got no shame? It's always the same with them. But it's sure working out well for the store. I've never seen so many customers, even though most of the villagers are already abandoned. Villagers. I'm running low on pickleweed, half salt and rock salt. I'm even out of plain flakes, though they're pretty bland and not what I would recommend. At this rate, I'm going to have to start sending my personal stash. And this is where I'm gonna end this part, so for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!